In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to jerk like a strong man, which basically means how to jerk well enough that you get the job done. I'm not a weightlifting coach trying to teach you Olympic weightlifting. I'm just teaching some fundamentals that can be applied to a barbell jerk, axle bar jerk, log jerk, circus dumbbell jerk, things like that. Also, I prescribe jerks in my strongman template, so this can serve as an instructional reference. First, let's discuss some definitions. A strict press is where you press something overhead without using your legs to help propel the bar up. Your upper body is doing all the work while your lower body just stabilizes. A push press is where you start by bending your knees and then you drive the bar up using your legs and you finish the press with your upper body. A push jerk or a power jerk, they're both the same thing, is where you start by doing a push press and bending your knees, but rather than finishing with straight legs, you finish by pushing your body back under the bar and catching the weight overhead with bent knees. A jerk utilizes what's called a double knee bend. One bend during the dip and drive and a second bend in the catch position. Here are some jerk drills to help you learn this movement. I did not make any of these up. They were inspired by weightlifting drills that I've seen. These are called tall jerks. Start by pressing the object just above forehead height and pause for two count. Then push yourself down under the object and catch the weight overhead with your elbows locked out. Catch the weight overhead with bent knees in a quarter squat position. Think about a trap door opening up below your feet and you're dropping straight down. Perform multiple sets of three to five reps. You can also start by doing this in a power rack with the pin set up right above forehead height. This isn't my favorite way of doing this, but it can be done. You're gonna want a little bit of weight in your hands so you have something to push against. If you were to do this with a PVC pipe, you wouldn't be able to push yourself under the pipe. Put some pressure against the bar with your hands before pushing yourself down. Next, start by performing a push press and pause just above your forehead. Push yourself down through the trap door and catch the weight overhead with straight arms. Perform multiple sets of three to five reps. For the push press portion of this, keep your feet flat on the dip and come up onto your toes for the pause. Don't catch the weight overhead with knees locked out. That means you didn't actually push yourself under the bar at all. Again, catch the weight overhead with your knees bent. If you find this hard to do with weight in your hands, you can practice your footwork without any weight. Over time, you can slowly shorten the pause period just above your forehead eventually eliminating the pause and performing a full speed power jerk. Do not rush the push press. This part doesn't need to be fast, especially as you're learning this. The second part of the movement when you're pushing yourself back under the bar should be fast. You're in a race against the bar to see who can drop down faster. Once you become more proficient with the push jerk technique, you'll find that if you have enough weight overhead, you can actually push yourself down faster than gravity wants to pull you down naturally. This movement can't really be done slow, it's quick. It takes some timing, coordination, commitment, and a bit of athleticism. So be patient as you practice this. Here are some extra points of instruction. Make sure your rack position is solid. Whether the bar is resting on your shoulders or floating below your chin is up to you. Just make sure the weight is packed down and supported on your skeleton so that the force you're generating with your legs is transferred directly into the upward motion of the barbell. A loose, floppy, weak rack position is like a broken link in a chain. Power from your legs will dissipate there and it won't transfer into the bar. A good rack position will also ensure the barbell is pushed in the right direction, not out away from your body. All of this that I talked about can be applied to a split jerk as well, but I'm not gonna cover footwork for the split jerk. I would suggest checking out some Olympic weightlifting YouTube videos for that topic. The fundamentals that I described in this video can still be applied to a split jerk, meaning strong rack position, push yourself down under the weight, and catch with bent legs. All of that still applies here. Add these drills in whenever you want, as often as you want. And as you get more proficient, you should notice your technique bleeding into your working sets with heavier weights. Personally, I like to program all types of overhead presses, strict press, push press, push jerk, and split jerk. And my weight selection for each of those movements is reflected by my proficiency with those movements. Meaning, once I started practicing split jerks, 
The weight was so light that I could practice nearly every day and it didn't take anything out of me. So don't be afraid to practice these movements a lot. Thanks for watching and always remember, tread on time.